Hi, I'm Robert Walters, reading from Marco. Maria, my ex. I never really knew what she was thinking. Except when she started nagging me about it being time for us to make a baby. She insisted that we would be happier with a child. Women and men have children. That's natural. It's not natural for me to have this crying child waiting for me when I come home from work that would be waiting to jump on my head and I'd have to serve like a slave and that one day he and I with my father we often argued he'd get on my nerves I'd get on his we didn't agree on anything I didn't want that for my children that lack of understanding he didn't support me in anything. I wanted to go to the Naval Academy, to travel around the world. He wouldn't let me. So now I am an unimportant clerk at a primary school, secretary to the principal. I move around unimportant papers from one drawer to another. What about her? What is she? What do you mean? Your ex? Uh, yeah, she's a math teacher. And she came to our school as a six-month replacement eight years ago. Oh, man, she was so good-looking, so attractive, so self-aware that I did not even dare to approach her in those six months. Although she appealed to me from the very beginning, it wasn't until the last day of school when she, she came into my office to say goodbye and to, to pick up her work record she looked me in the eye and smiled and said that she was sorry that we would not be seeing each other anymore. I, I summoned up the courage and told her that it did not have to be like that if she wanted to go to the cinema with me that evening. She said yes. After about a week, she moved here into my flat and everything was perfectly wonderful until something about two years ago. My lovely mathematician calculated that her biological clock was ticking and that it was time for us to make a baby. That's also normal. Okay, please, I don't think you're the one that should be talking about what's normal. Why not? Because... Never mind. Anyways, when my Maria uh, told me that story about the child, or the children. Everything started to go downhill. And then finally one day, standing right where you are standing right now, she asked me directly if I'd ever thought in those seven years that we'd been together about being husband and wife and having a child. And I replied very sincerely. I said, no, I've never wanted to have children with you. And she went very pale and she went up to the bedroom and got two travel bags, packed all of her clothes and books, left without a word of explanation. Good for her. Why? Because she realized that there was no future with you. Yeah, but she had the present. Listen, you and I are living in our present. We're, we're not thinking about the future. Are, are we lacking anything?